Hi oh guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're talking about this bad boy, the Sigma 35mm 1.4. Now, this is on an adapter, it's not the whole lens, but we've got a problem with this. I bought this lens recently and it's an expensive lens. I've had to get it second hand because it's, it's that expensive, but I've got it in pretty much brand new condition, which is really good. But there's a compatibility issue with some Canon cameras where we get this strange banding around video and photos in the live view. I'll show you now what it looks like. It's sort of this banding around the edge, but I'm gonna show you in this video very quickly how to get rid of that. Unfortunately, if you've recorded footage already with that banding on the outside, then you're not gonna be able to get rid of it. But when it comes to photographs, Lightroom does do a, a job when importing it of getting rid of those bands because it just seems to be a firmware issue with the lens and the camera. Um, they're just not compatible in a specific setting. But I'm going to show you which setting it is and how to change it so to get rid of those bands and you can use this lens and start taking some awesome shots of it because it is a really good lens. There's just a slight compatibility issue with Sigma and Canon with this particular lens anyway. We're a little bit close because we're on 35mm, I've switched from the 16mm uh, on the M50 but now we're recording with the adapter with the 35 but what I just want to show you in OBS what it looks like. So you can see these bands around the side, that's in manual mode, if I switch it to uh, video mode you can still slightly see them on the side there. So. Uh, they are made worse on full frame cameras. I think with like the 5D Mark IV, you get this as well, uh, and other EOS R. But obviously, we're cropped in quite a little bit here because of this being a crop sensor camera. Um, so you can just about see them with the M50. And then if we go back to manual, you can see them. So that's if you take a photo, you're going to see that. But it's very easy if you go into the settings, like so, and we go to the first setting on the camera bit there. Uh, number one, we go to lens aberration correction and then we um, turn off peripheral uh, correction and just turn off chromatic aberration as well correction. That's what I've done to fix this problem and then we go back out and in, there we go, in manual mode you can see that it's it's totally gone, there's no, there's no problem, there's no banding and it will work exactly for video i'll just show you quickly in video as well if you click to manual video mode um and we go off actually turned it off already so it's off in manual if you turn it back on i'll just show you quickly that that is the actual issue itself and we go out and you can see just slightly the banding on the edge but it is that peripheral correction that you just need to turn off in the settings show you quickly what happens when you put one of those photos into Lightroom. Like I said, video, you're struggling, you're not going to get it. It's, in, it's actually baked into the actual video recording. So if you've recorded video with these bands on, you're not going to get it off. When it comes to photos, then yeah, Lightroom removes it. It's not actually baked into the actual raw footage of the photo. So it must be just on like a sidecar bit that's just on the card. Um, that is captured when you capture it on the card, but it must be on there somewhere. But when you actually put it into Lightroom, you can see that here it's showing, but when we go to the Develop tab, all the bands are removed. So uh, I can just press um, Auto to get this up, and you can see from the outside, this bang the uh, exposure up as well all the way. You can see the bands aren't there. So when it comes to shooting raw photos, those bands aren't going to be there. So if you've shot a whole wedding or something with these bands on there not realizing uh, that the lens had this problem then when you get the photos into Lightroom to develop them those bands aren't going to be there so photos in RAW you're safe video you're going to have problems okay so that is a fix to that issue I know it's a little bit annoying um, and I'm not a professional photographer yet I'm not exactly what those settings are going to have any advantage over on your on your uh, pictures anyway so um yeah chromatic aberration obviously is going to get rid of some of those purple fringing things around the edges but i haven't had any problems this is a really good lens anyway so you can your photos are still going to come out well um, really nice uh, so but that is a fix anyway to get rid of those bands on the outside just turn off that particular setting like i showed and i hope it helps somebody out there until the next time guys make sure you subscribe and press a bell 
down below so you don't miss any videos coming up soon if you're new to the channel. We do loads of photography, vlogs and tech videos on this channel so if those are the kind of content videos that you want to watch on a more regular basis, yeah, make sure you subscribe down below. Until next time, take it easy. See you soon. Bye.